I'm a cop! I'm a cop, you monkey! A thousand pardons, Lieutenant. You must forgive my security people. The bodyguards my country provides are quite professional, but uh, they can be overzealous in their task now. What can Sheikh Yerami do to help the Los Angeles police? Uh, sir, I'm looking into a uh, missing persons case, a woman named Verity Chandler. Verity Chandler? I have never heard this name. Uh, she's a kind of TV reporter. <laughs> television. Sheikh Yerami scoffs with derision. Uh, you don't like television? Television is a box of infidels. Sheikh Yerami likes movie stars. Ah. Sheikh Arami bought this mansion because it once belonged to the movie star, Miss Dorothea Page. Dorothea Page, yes. A great silent film star became even bigger in the talkies. This was her place? I've lived here seven years, and I cannot tell you. The tourists, the gawkers, that is why the security. You know, of course, when Miss Dorothea Page died, the police came to. Why? Surely you must know. The case of the mysterious missing diamonds. Diamonds? Ah, uh, sir, maybe I will show you this photograph. Haddal Surah! Sheikh Hirami. Haddal Surah, the mother of the taxi. Shoot. Haddal Surah! Lazam Haddi. What's the ruckus? A thousand pardons, Lieutenant. Uh, my security people are upset because uh, just three days ago they chased away a woman who took a picture of his house. Wait a minute. This woman who took this picture, did she wear a big hat? Ah. Ahmed! Ah, she hoofed a lap. Aywa, ya sheikh. Can it lapse at Aya Asmar? Kabire. Kulha Ahmar. 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 Was that a yes? Big black hat. Red clothes. Very red, this woman was. Are you saying the woman who came here wore a big black hat with a lot of red clothes three days ago, took the picture, and then drove away? Yes, she got out, uh, stole a photograph with her camera, and then jumped right back into a taxi. Taxi? Yes, they said taxi. Hey, I'm not for hire. Hey, can't you read? The sign says no smoke. Oh, it's you. Hey, listen, I've already got a fare. The dispatcher tells me you pick up the same guy from the same doctor at the same time each week. Well, that's right, and the meter's running, so what's the beef? Eddie Fernelli, a.k.a. Eddie Defense, six years, grand loss, knee receiving stolen goods. Does that include a diamond necklace once worn by a movie star, Dorothy Page? <laughs> oh, you ain't gonna pin that diamond job on me. I got a witness can identify you as the driver of this cab on the day that Verity Chandler took this photograph. Now, you gonna come clean or do I take you downtown? I'm not looking to hurt you, Eddie. And right now, I don't need any definites. All I need is maybes. Maybes? Yeah, maybes. <sighs> okay, maybe. So maybe there is somebody who did know something about those diamonds. Now, this somebody didn't steal them, you understand? He just maybe handled them, if you know what I mean. And then maybe this somebody went to prison for another job. And then when he got out of the joint, he, uh, he gets a call from a woman. She says she's a reporter and she wants the lowdown on those diamonds. And maybe somebody got some money for this information. Maybe. And maybe somebody's cab was used to drive somebody to the dead movie star's house to take a picture. Maybe that too. And maybe. Come on, Eddie. I'm waiting. Well, maybe she wants this somebody to finger the guy who stole the diamonds. How would she do that? Well, she said she could get a hold of a photograph of the guy. Bingo. Uh, that is not an official bingo, you understand. It's a maybe. But somebody identified this man in this picture as the man who fenced the diamond necklace belonging to Dorothea Payne. Sounds right. 
maybe. Hey, here comes my fare. Keep that nose clean. Just one more thing. 